so that you can easily... A breakdown of the mathematical equation by grade 11 pupil Emmanuel Simpande of Hillcrest Secondary School using a self-made formula. A, B, C, D, E, F. We're using the coefficient. So A, B, C, D, E, F. So A is equal to 7, B is equal to 5, C is equal to 55. This was during the final day of the 53rd Junior Engineers, Technicians and Scientists Fair at the National Science Center. Alex Mulenga participated in the physics and renewable energy category and demonstrates how his electric vehicle is set up and its benefits. In big hotels, where it can be used to transport VIP, it can also be used at, in the agriculture sector for farming purposes, also in the medical sector to transport patients. Cynthia Ngandwe, a grade 12 pupil at St. Mary's Secondary School, has an interest in food science and exhibited the benefits of consuming natural foods. This is a sweet potato bread, coming up with bread out of sweet potato instead of using the wheat flour, but we use sweet potatoes. And here we've got soya, this is soya sausage. It was made out of soya flour, coming up with this kind of sausage instead of using it, but we use the local thing that we have around us. These young people's innovations have impressed Education Minister Douglas Yakalima, who sees them providing solutions to challenges in medicine and to climate change. So I'm so impressed, and for your own information, we want this to be part of your learning system uh, going forward. We are now reviewing and reforming our curriculum. Somebody there, I said, why are you planting trees? And answered me to say that we want to mitigate against climate change. What a brilliant way of thinking. Not only decoration, but also uh, knowing that there is this issue that is killing the world. The Jets Fair attracted schools from all 10 provinces with assorted awards up for grabs. Wilson Mulinda, ZNBC News, Lusaka.